Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be diving into something super exciting. How to improve the spatial resolution of Sentinel-2 imagery using the CentOS plugin in ESA Snap. CentOS is a processor to enhance the spatial resolution of Sentinel-2 products till 10 meter preserving their reflectance. Sentinel-2 MSI does not have a panchromatic band, but it contains four bands at 10 meter. CentOS works by building a model of how information is shared between these bands, for example a pixel content independent of the reflectance, and what information is specific to these bands, for example the color of that pixel content. The model is then applied to unmix the 20 meter and 60 meter bands while preserving their reflectance. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to get a 10 meter resolution across all bands of Sentinel-2 images. Let's get started! I'm in ESA website right now and download the CentOS plugin file. And in the continuing, I'll say how to install it. I'll put this website link in the description for you. Before anything else, there is a forum belonging to the Sentinel project team. You can ask your questions in this forum or use questions already asked by others to solve your problems. I'll put its link in the description. There you can ask your questions in the comment section of this video as well. Alright, let's go to the snap. Port a Sentinel-2 image into the software. Either by dragging and dropping or using the file option you can import your images. The image is loading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. After importing, you can see the image's location on Google Maps here. And I want to display the image in RGB mode, so I right click on the image and click Open RGB Image Window. And using the default band combination, I click OK and wait to apply it. Now, if you don't already have the CentOS plugin installed, let's do it together. First, go to the Tool tab available in the ribbon. Then click the Plugins option. Here you'll see all the plugins that are available, downloaded, installed or need updating. If you remember, at the beginning of the video I downloaded the plugin file. It could be used here. In the download section, you can click on the Add Plugin and give the downloaded file to the software to install it. But there is another simple way either. Just go to the Available Plugin section and search for the CentOS plugin. As you can see, it was listed here. Now just check the CentOS and click install. This option is more useful when you don't have the plugin file. Then install the plugin as shown. Alright, now that we've got the plugin installed, restart the software to apply the settings and changes. Once loaded, I import the Sentinel-2 image again. Then I head over to the Optical tab and click the Sentinel-2 Super Resolution option. In the new window that pops up, you can adjust the settings as needed. For this tutorial, I select a smaller area to process, just to save some time and make the processing faster. Additionally, the position can be defined using the coordinate system. Next, we have to select the bands we want to process. You can choose the specific bands or process all of them. It's up to you. Once you've selected your bands, choose the file path and give your output file a name. In the Advanced Parameters section, you can apply more parameters to the output like number of iteration, threads, block size, and so on. I leave this section as default because it doesn't require to be complicated. 
and finally hit the run. Depending on the size of the area and the number of bands, this might take a few minutes. The processing was completed and the final file has been saved. Let's open it and compare with the original image. Here the bands that have been converted to 10 meters are displayed. I display the bands that have been converted to 10 meters. To improve visualization, we can place two windows side by side. To make it easier to compare, I'll synchronize the image cursor and views so you can see the differences side by side. On the left, I have the original image and on the right, I have the processed image with 10 meter resolution. You can see how much more detail there is in the processed image. More pixels, sharper edges, and better clarity. You can also test different bands to see how they've been enhanced. Each band will show different features, so feel free to explore and see which ones work best for your project. And that's it, we've successfully improved the spatial resolution of Sentinel-2 imagery using the Centaurus plugin in ESA Snap. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.